comes in. One. It's ridiculously great. Bruh! Beatmakers 101. What's up, everyone? Welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back if you've been here before. Today, today, wow, well, I'm sweating. We're going to check out Andrew Huang's new plugin called Transit, powered by babyaudio.io. I'm just saying the .io to it, I don't even know if that's how you do it. <laughs> they have reached out to me to check it out, to be exact, Tristan. You are flipping awesome, just as all the plugins by you guys. But before we get into the video, as usual, a huge thank you to my students for being booked out, for having 551 only five-star reviews as of today, and for still being Fiverr's choice and top-rated seller for vocal coaches and voice teachers. Now, let's get back to Transit. And Boy, do I have to say, bro, 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 what an incredible plugin. Are you kidding me? But before I completely flip out, let's check it out. Okay, guys, here we are. To test that out, I'm using a beat that I made with a sample of my good friend Dennis, Dennis Khan, to be exact. Now, since I'm gonna use transit on the complete track, I'm gonna do something before we even hear it. I'm going to click automate right here and then push this transition control button right here. And as you can see, it created an automation track. So let's fill in this automation track here. And the reason why I'm automating this button, the transition control, is because this is the one that's gonna give us the effect or take it away when we click on that and turn it up like this or down. Now, to get started, let's just go through a couple presets so you can see what's up. This is the one that it comes with automatically, transition bouquet. Now, if I play this beat. And I turn this up here. You hear that? If I want to automate this right here and basically turn it in slowly, let's say we're going to do it like this, then what happens is the following. Watch this, I'm not touching it. You know what automation means. But let's go through a couple of presets. So first of all, look at how many presets we have. This is a lot. And then we have different ones here from different artists, just assuming because Andrew Huang is written right here. Let's stick with Andrew Huang and let's just randomly pick one. Let's play again. I like it. As you heard, there's a chorus and a delay on it and distortion. Let's pick another random one. Let's take this one. Mm. I like it. Okay, these are just the presets, right? Let's just pick one more, just, just to make sure. Let's just pick one more. Let's pick Descent into the Soup. <laughs> I like that. That's definitely soup right there. I just saw something. I saw lo-fi dust. Obviously, I have to try this one out. Ooh. That is lo-fi for real. Now, before we get into the really fun stuff, just wanna show you a couple of things real quick. We're gonna get into the knobs in a second. But for now, so you have here this button to turn off the module. The cool thing is, as usual in a plugin, it's gonna show you exactly what it does. This one is gonna enable you to move it around to switch the order of your chain. Has a couple of presets again. So if you're too lazy to make your own chain and you just wanna modify a little bit, so it's not the default preset, you can choose these here in those little effect boxes right here. And as you can see, you can even save all the little work that you're doing right here so that it doesn't get lost. Now, let's get to this button right here where you see the name of the effect. First of all, let's say you wanna get rid of this and change this around. You can click here, which is basically where you choose the effect that you want. You can see flanger, delay, chorus, and so on and so forth. Or 
clear it completely out, which gets us into the fun situation. Then we have a randomizer right here. So if you click this, it's gonna basically randomize what's happening here. Click, 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 right? We also have our mix, meaning how much you want of the effect or how little you want of the effect. And then we have our output gain right here of the effect. Now, what we also have is a dark mode. <laughs> I like that because almost everything on my computer is in dark mode. You can load a preset and you can also save your preset. Right here, we can erase the complete chain, which we're gonna do in a second. And here we have our lock button, but we're gonna get into this in a second as well. And then we have our little dice symbol, which is randomize again, but randomizing for the whole chain. Look what happens when I click here. Click, randomized something, boom, randomized something, boom, randomized something, which is incredible. Then we also have this little infinity sign and this beautiful lock sign. We're gonna get into this in a second. But now, let's get into the really fun stuff, meaning let's create our own chain right here. That's why we're gonna use this delete button, boom. You have to click it twice because you have to confirm that you really want to delete everything. Now, let's start building our own chain. I would say we start with a phaser. Let's put our automation in here so that we can hear what's up. Typical phaser. But now, watch this. You can not only change all these parameters around, like the rate, depth, and so on, typical phaser stuff. But also, you can click this little button here. Boom, now motion is on. Now you can see you can go minus with the button as well, which is when it's pink, right here, minus. And then a curve, an envelope curve. Longer attack right here. Obviously feedback a little bit away. Let's play again. I like it. Now, let's add a reverb, I would say. Boom. And let's also switch the order around. I wanna have the reverb in first place. Boom. Now, again, we're gonna do our exact work here on our knobs. Now, let's add a filter. I like it. Let's do this. You see what I'm doing? You can obviously add more to the chain if you want to. Now, let's get into more of the nitty gritty stuff right here. So, if you click this button right here, you see this, you can basically automate the effect to start over after as many bars as you want. Let's stick with one bar right here. Let's keep the divisions at 2 sixteenths. Let's play and watch what happens. It stopped automatically. Then you can obviously loop it so it doesn't stop automatically. Watch this. Three, five, six, seven, eight, and one. See how it comes in? One. Let's also use the pendulum right here, meaning it's gonna go forward and then backward again, and we keep the loop playing. Turning it out again, bringing it back in, boom. How flipping cool is that? And as you can see, we haven't even used automation for that. What? So many shortcuts, it's ridiculous. 
I mean, think about it. If you would have to load all of these effects into your mixer, in some cases, maybe your program is gonna crash or have glitches while it's playing. I've had that happen too. So this here avoids all of that, meaning it's extremely good on CPU usage. Let's get back here. Now, let's get into this little infinity sign right here. If you click this infinity on, this effect chain is gonna play all the time even if the transition control is on zero. Let's get into this little randomize and lock button right here. This randomize button does what it says. It randomizes everything, right? <laughs> Even though I don't wanna change anything around right now, so I'm not gonna do it, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Now, you see this randomize lock right here? If I click that, you can see all the things that are locked or unlocked. Green means it's unlocked, pink means it's locked. So when I click the randomize button, all the ones that are locked are not gonna randomize, which basically means you can customize to the many parameters. Incredible. Randomly in the little effects, you'll also find some extra things to play with right here. Let me show you what I mean. Let's add a delay, this right here, which basically means the delay is gonna either tail out or not tail out. Or peak. <laughs> okay, let's listen one more time. Let's turn this off. By the way, by the way, if you right click this little turn off button, guess what happens? Boom, all of them are turned off. And just this one stays on. Right click again, the opposite happens. All of these ones stay on and this one stays off. <laughs> Come on, man, they thought about everything. It's ridiculously great. As a matter of fact, let's actually map this button to one of the knobs right here, randomly, this one, so that we can play around here. Hell yeah! Bruh. So, I think now explained all the main things. And there you have it. How flipping amazing is that? How much time does that save you? How much CPU does that save you? How much copy paste does that save you? Ah, oh, honestly, my shoulders are relaxing right now just thinking about that I can use transit on all of my songs right now. <laughs> This is incredible. Transit still just costs $59 instead of $99, and I really, really think it's worth it. I rarely think or say that about plugins, but some plugins are just a must have. Once you use it, you just can't live without it anymore. For real. So go and grab yours. So let's wrap it up. Let's get to the outro. That's already it, guys. I really enjoyed this plugin. I hope you too. Don't forget to check out all the links. There's awesome stuff to discover, including obviously a link to transit in the description. And as always, much love to everyone. Stay focused and have a blast now. Mwah!